Let's talk about electricity. Now, you're all familiar with terms like voltage. Uh, this is a 110 volt appliance. Power, uh, this is a 1,500 watt microwave or even current. Uh, this appliance uses 10 amperes or this fuse uh, will blow at 20 amperes. But what do these terms actually mean? And what is this electricity? So let's go one by one. Let's start with the electric current. The electric current is simply the amount of charge that travels through a wire per second. So how many charge is traveling per second? So Coulomb per second, uh, which gives us the unit ampere. You, compare, you could compare this uh, with a river, uh, where this would be the amount of water per second that flows down the river or goes over a waterfall. The next thing is the electric potential, also called the voltage. Uh, its unit is volts, hence why we call it sometimes also the voltage. What is the voltage? Well, the voltage is uh, the energy per charge that uh, a unit charge will encounter when it travels uh, from one end of the wire uh, to the other. If you think of this with the waterfall again, uh, a change of energy, in this case would be the potential uh, gravitational energy from falling down. So the higher the waterfall, the more potential energy each molecule of water or each kilogram, if you do the real analogy of water, would have at the top. Now with the electricity, it is not gravity that pulls the electron from one side to, to the other, but the electrostatic force. So uh, we would have the electric potential energy divided by the coulombs. So per coulomb, how many joules of potential electric energy do we have? So this is uh, what the electric potential or the voltage is. Now let's go to power. Uh, you already know power from mechanics uh, as uh, the change of energy per time. And now what we can do is we can take our equations from uh, the current uh, being Coulomb per second, uh, how much charge uh, per time. So this sum for time and put it at the bottom. And we can use that the voltage is change of energy uh, per charge, so uh, joules per coulomb, we can combine this, and what we come up with is that the power for an electric device is uh, simply the current times the voltage on which it operates. So let's do a little example. Uh, so let's say we have a 1500 watt microwave that operates at 110 voltage, 1,500 watts, 110 volts, we want to know uh, how many amperes uh, go through the microwave, for example, to see uh, if our fuse will be able uh, to hold it or if it will blow immediately. So uh, power is uh, voltage times current. Therefore, if we're solving for current, this is power over voltage. So we have 1,500 watt over 110 volt gives me uh, around 14 amperes.